What we want to do now is actually go into our button and see if we can get it to do something interesting when we scroll over it. So go ahead and lock your action level, lock your logo layer, and unlock the shadow level. Then click inside it so that we are editing the shadow itself, and then select the button. Click on, just to be safe, make sure that we are in the actions for that button, and we're going to write some action script specifically just for this object, for this button. So, we're going to make sure that on rollover, that means when we move the mouse over it, we're going to pop that guy out a little bit. So, on rollover, we're going to want to take scale form button underscore play underscore MC, and we're going to want to manipulate its Z axis. We want to pop it out towards us, and we're going to make it something sort of really dramatic, negative 6,000. Now that will take it out, but we need to make sure that it can go back in. So let's make sure that on roll out, that same button, SF button play MC resets to zero. Let's see if that works. Go to scale form launcher. And when I scroll over this, sure enough, it pops right out. And notice that that is relative to the 30 degree ro rotation. Oh, but it's not rolling. So it pops out, but it's not popping back in. Let's check to see what mistake we made. On rollout, ah, see, we didn't set the dot underscore. See. All right. Next, we're going to have to put a little bit of a functionality in here to make sure that Kismet knows what to do when you press the button. So we're going to add one more line of code to the button's action script. We're going to say on press. So when the player actually clicks on this, we want something special to happen. It's just one line of code. We want it to call an fs command. This is going to be passed on to Kismet, so we want to make sure that we remember what this command is. We're going to call it open map, all under, uh, all lower caps. Okay, let's test this with the new uh, functionality in it. Go back to window, uh, other panels, scale form launcher, test with the scale form launcher, and you'll see that as I scroll over that play button, it pops right out there. Now it pops a little bit too far, but frankly we don't have enough time to really fix this and make this look as nice as we'd like it to, it pops out and then it pops back in. And you can imagine that this would look a lot better if uh, you, know, you changed up the colors, you put in some shadows, you can create some really magnificent overlays this way. Okay, this is looking a little better, but I think that what we might want is to have some sort of cursor going on, so go back into scene one, and let's create another layer altogether. Still want it under action, so let's lock shadow, and right above shadow, create a new layer that we're going to call cursor. There's a couple ways to do a cursor. You can make it really neat. I'm going to go the sloppy way. Just going to click on the brush tool. I'm going to make it the same color as let's see, same color as this logo. Make it bright red. I'm going to go to the brush tool. Make the brush a little bit bigger. And bear in mind that I am drawing with a mouse here. I'm going to make a nice little triangle. Just like we did for all of the other options, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to convert it to symbol. I'm going to call it scale form cursor, let's say. I'm going to make sure this is not a button, this is a movie clip. And in this case, it is really very important where you set the registration. 
we want to set the registra registration at the tip. So since this is pointing up and to the left, we want the registration for sure to be up and to the left. We're also going to give this an instance name, just like anything else, SF cursor underscore MC. And we're going to give it a little bit of code. We want to make sure that the x and y coordinates of this guy are following the x and y coordinates of the mouse. So we're going to type on clip event, enter frame, close parenthesis. Uh, we're going to set the x coordinate of this particular component equal to the root, that is the overall flash program, its x mouse coordinate. And likewise, we're going to set the y coordinate of this equal to underscore root dot underscore y mouse. Let's check that out. If we click on scale form launcher and test with FX Media. Sure enough, we're going to find that that cursor moves with the mouse and it pops out that play button when we scroll over it. All right.